Welcome to Everyday Happiness, where we create lasting happiness in two minutes a day through my signature method of intentional margins, creating harmony between your to-dos and your priorities, happiness science, and musings about life. I'm your host, Katie Jeffcoat, and this is the fourth of four episodes on exercise. My path to finding the joy in moving has been windy and bumpy, super bumpy, And yesterday, I mentioned how tennis, for a while, was the activity where I could be present and mindful while engaging in that activity. I also mentioned how yoga could be good for this. Well, years ago, when I played tennis, I was terrible, by the way, and I was really only in tennis for the lessons. I was a tennis lesson junkie. But when I was there, I was present mostly because I was scared to death to look away for one hot second and get a tennis ball to the face. So there I was, following the ball, watching each bounce without another thought in my mind. And I wonder, what is that movement activity for you? What is that activity that you can get lost in? And so I want to recap with everything we've been talking about over the last few days. We know exercise is healthy. It's good for our mental health and our physical health. Exercise is about reframing. And I've decided to change the way I talk about exercise and now call it movement. So movement, formerly known as exercise, for happiness can't be about fixing something. We need to change our mindset between movement and that dark urge to change our body. And finally, today, we talked about being present and mindful in whatever movement we choose and have gratitude for our body exactly as it is. Tennis is my story. I invite you to find what works for you. And let me know. I'm so curious what works for people. And until tomorrow, let's connect on social at Everyday Happiness with Katie and join the community on the hashtags intentional margins and Everyday Happiness with Katie on Instagram.